Why is Sanele not here by this time? Normally he's here. I hope he's safe where he is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Have you tried calling him? Let me just get my phone and try calling him. That's a good idea. <clears throat> Where's my phone? How sanele? Where were you? Yes, I'm going to figure this out. Excuse me. I'm going to go in my microwave. Is she okay, Sanele? I know, I'm good, I'm good. Unjan Kok. Go on, I was so worried that maybe something happened. No, Bing says Ungan, Utavo. He's in my class. Um, Sizangani. Okay, in your lucky pugile, so um, I just took him to his transport. Oh, that's so sweet of you. That's so dear, Bart, Sanele. Ah, thanks. I, in your lucky lap puga, but. Um, his bones were too weak, apparently. Oh, too shame, weak. man. Mm. See, that's why I make sure that I drink a glass of milk in the morning to make my bones stronger. Every morning? Mm hmm You know, that's such a healthy and good habit. Guys, you must make sure that you take in calcium every day. So, Gogo, do you really need to drink a glass of milk every day? Absolutely, Xander. It is very important that you guys get enough calcium into your bodies. Yes, Xander, you do have calcium in your bodies, but as you grow, the calcium becomes less and less. So it's important whilst you're so young, get enough calcium. Yeah. Koto, koko. Drink milk every day. Yes, you have to. Yes, the calcium goes down and down and down. Do you still remember when we talk about about vitamins? Yeah, mm. you, mm -hmm. you said that we need to keep adding them into our bodies. Mm -hmm. So, Coco, our bodies don't store in the vitamins that we take in. And the same thing as e calcium, which is a vitamin. So, it is important that every time you take in calcium, mm -hmm. otherwise, your bones will break. Yes, Coco, and if you're older, your body can't store so much calcium anymore. That's why you must drink as much milk and calcium as you can while you are young. Otherwise, your bones will be weak when you're older. Mm. Mm. Did you tell me that your granny was sick the other day? Yo, go go my own osteoporosis. So, but you can't drink any enough milk to drink it. No, Zander, it's just a combination of many things. Wait, go go. What is osteoporosis? What is Osteoporosis. It means that the body doesn't have enough calcium. Hmm? Mm -mm. Mm. I have to drink milk. I don't want to get old anytime soon. I'm going to be old anytime soon. When as long as you take enough calcium into your body, Yes, Sunele, our bodies are still young. So we can absorb all the calcium we need. Exactly. Mm. Okay, so Gogo, I know that milk comes from cows. But then what happens after that? Yeah, like how does it get from the cow and then all of a sudden straight to the cotton? Mm. Do you really want to know? Yes, please, Google. Mm -hmm. Let's go to the Wonder Room. Yeah? Wonder Room! <laughs> <laughs> You guys wanted to know how milk comes from the cow and ends up into this bottle. Yes, yes go, go. go Okay. Let me tell you guys just a short story. But, uh, go, go. I think we're too old for fairy tales. Yes, definitely. Go, go. This is definitely not a fairy tale. It is a true story. Let's hear it then. Okay. 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 There was this man called Louis Pasteur. And Louis Pasteur was living in France. He was a biologist. And he wanted to know why were people around him getting sick and dying. A biologist, Gogo. Yeah. They study all living things. Oh, why? Because they want to understand and know how the body functions and how external forces influence each organism. So did Louis finally get what was uh, making the people sick? Louis, making the people sick? Oh, oh, sorry. Do you want to know if he found out what was making the people sick? Yes. How can he make people sick? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, okay. Then he found out that there was 
germs that was in the milk. Okay. And remember that germs grow faster in wet and warm places. Mm. That's disgusting. And also remember that those years, people didn't have any fridges. So, Manjo Koko, how did he fix the problem? He fixed the problem by using a method called pasteurization. Oh, that sounds like his last name. Yes, that entire process, it was named after him. Manjo Koko, what is pasteurization and how does it work? Okay, quickly give me that remote. Let me show Sanele. Just have a look at this. Hi there, my name's Kerry Ward and I work here at Douglas Dale Dairy and I'll be taking you through the process of milk. So who can guess how many times a day do you think I must milk a cow? How many times a day, who can guess? Yes, good. So they get milk twice a day and one cow can give me 20 litres a day. So one cow can give me 10 bottles a day. It's a lot, eh? Okay. So we finished on the farm. The farmer has milked all the cows. So he's finished and he puts it now into a milk tanker. Can we all see? Okay. So he drives all the way, drive, 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 and stops here at Douglas Dale. Do you think we must take the milk or must we check it? Exactly, we must test it to make sure that it's okay. And we don't have to go far because we've got our own lab here, which means there's a, a big room that does all the testing for us. And a microbiologist does that, all right. She tests it for us and she sends us a message to say like, it's good, you can keep it. Or she says it's bad, you must send it away. All right, so today she says it's good. So you know a hose pipe, you know like a fireman's hose pipe? It's a big one. So we put it and we attach it to the, tr uh, the truck and we suck it now. It's draining, 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 draining. And it comes and it gets put into this funny looking tunnel. And this is called a silo. And now what we do is we start making sure that the milk gets clean so that we can all drink it. So the milk is now pasteurized. So pasteurized means we heat the milk. So it kills the bacteria. So it kills the hojos. So our tummies can digest it. Then it runs through a funny machine and this is called a separator. So what this does is, is it separates the cream from the milk. Then it goes into this funny looking machine. It's got a funny name as well, homogenizer. And this means to break the butter fat to make it smooth and silky. And then we put it in a bottle. So we're going to watch a video. A working dairy for over 70 years. Douglasdale Dairy is located in the heart of Sandton on the Douglasdale farm. Scottish-born Thomas Douglas settled in South Africa in 1890 with his wife, Janet Alexander. They bought a farm on the clay Nyukske River in Johannesburg and named it the Douglasdale Farm. The farmhouse, one of the oldest homes in Sandton, was built in 1905. Douglasdale Dairy handpicks farmers who supply fresh milk to the dairy. To be selected as a milk supplier to Douglasdale, the farmer must meet the stringent standards set out by the dairy, which includes the type of fodder given to the cattle, which affects the nutrients in the milk. In addition, there are very specific requirements with regard to the milking process and equipment utilised. The milk is collected from the farm in large insulated road tankers and taken to the dairy. If all the samples are approved, the milk is pumped from the road tanker into large milk silos. Douglas Dale Dairy employs modern processing methods and all machinery is state of the art, which assists in producing milk products that offer a longer shelf life. All dairy products produced in the factory undergo 15 rigorous lab tests throughout the entire process, 
to guarantee a quality product every time. The milk is tested from the time it is delivered to the dairy through all the processing stages, including final packaging. Douglas Dale Dairy has its own lab and a full-time microbiologist conducts a number of tests daily, including testing the water and butter fat content percentages. Tests are carried out to ensure the milk is free of antibiotics. Douglas Dale became the first fresh milk processor in Gauteng and only the second in the country to receive HACCP certification. The HACCP Hazard Analysis and Critical Control Point Food Safety Management System monitors the entire milk production process, from what lactating cattle are fed at the farm to the temperature regulation of transportation of the final packaged product from the dairy to the retailer shelves. This makes Douglas Dale Dairy fully accountable for each and every milk product that leaves the dairy, which is purchased by the end user. Pasteurization. Milk is a favorable breeding ground for bacteria which is pasteurized to destroy pathogenic organisms. The Bacterfuge. The Bacterfuge removes heat resistant and other bacteria from the milk after pasteurization. Douglas Dale improves the quality of the milk it supplies. It has a longer shelf life, better taste, lower bacterial cell counts and reduced impurities. The Separator. The separator is a machine used for separating and removing cream from milk. The homogenizer. The purpose of the homogenizer is to spread the butter fat evenly throughout the milk. Homogenized milk is tastier, whiter and easier to digest. It also allows Douglas Dale milk to be frozen. From the dairy to the shop. When the milk and the milk products have been processed, they are filled into containers of different sizes for sale to consumers. Each container is marked with an expiry date so that the consumer knows how fresh the product is. Douglas Dale Dairy products include fresh, full cream milk, low fat and fat free milk. Our other products are Amazi, buttermilk and cream. So they heat the milk in order to kill all the germs. Yes, because most of the germs cannot survive in heat. Yeah, and the UHT stands for ultra high temperature. Mm -hmm. I'm glad milk doesn't make people sick anymore. Yeah. Well, remember guys, there are people who cannot take milk. And those people are? Lactose intolerant. Lactose intolerant. So people that lacto intolerant, lactose, in lacto intolerant, lactose is the sugar in the milk. Lactose intolerant. Okay, so they can't have milk, ice cream, or cream. pizza, mm -hmm. and cheese, and cheese. Mm -hmm. Whoa! And intolerant, remember, means that the body cannot stand the sugar either. Yeah. Oh. My cousin it is lactose intolerant. Yes. Lactose intolerant. Yeah. And when he drinks milk, his stomach gets his upset. His stomach gets very upset. You don't so, understand. So you can't even have ice cream. Or cheese or pizza. Yo, I feel so bad for him. Nope. Hmm. Now, remember, if people cannot take milk, those people that are lactose intolerant, there are vegetables that they can take in the place mm, of milk. Like? Mm. Like broccoli. Ooh. Oh, I don't know that broccoli had calcium in it. But uh, in this case, I'll still take milk instead of broccoli. <laughs> yeah, me. Mm. Mm. I'm food. Okay, now guys, who would want us to go and make something? Who's lactose intolerant amongst you? You? Um, no, I'm a fan of pizza and cheese, no, so no, no, no. count me out. Maybe. Although, I... Love milk! <laughs> <laughs> okay guys, do you want us to go to the other side and make some smoothies? Which kind of smoothies, Kobo? Every kind of smoothie. Okay. Milk. With milk. No, but which I don't I don't mind. Let's go. Let's go. Go if it's almond, almond milk, milk. If it's oh that's my favorite go go! Almond milk. <laughs> 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 rice milk. Okay, so Gogo, what are we making? What smoothie are we making? The smoothie we're going to make, it's banana, spinach, and berries. 
Ang zonga koko spinach. Yeah. Spinach. No, 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 koko. Are you joking? Mm. I'm, 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 I'm joking. I'm not joking. How? Oh. I need to finish with it. Yeah. Manje. Okay. Let me take out the bananas and the spinach. How long can we wash our hands? You can wash your hands. Yes, wash your hands, guys. You know. You know the drill by now. Shh. Yes, my. Where's my board? The body I'm here, Pierre. Nancy. Yeah. Listen. Okay, we can use that one. But I've got that big board of mine. I don't know what I did with it. Oh, that. I think it's here. Oh, yeah. And oh. then... Is that spinach? Yeah, spinach. Don't put it on the stove, please. Oh, sorry. Hey, 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 hey. Sorry, go, Put go. here, put here. <laughs> put here. Put here. Put here. Yes. My almond milk. Some bananas. Almond milk? Oh, 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 oh. So I'm going to say it's been a circle. Are we going to also add in the stems? You can't do more for the stems. Oh, what's the pulling is that? Oh, Sanele. At least the green part there. Hello? 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 So do you want to put in the stuff? Yes, please, Coco. Open up fast, please. That's a big sander. Spinach. See? Some raspberries. Bits of pieces, no? Yeah. Uh, yes, the raspberries. We are going to put this grass. We are going to put grass. Raspberries. What's going on now? First is the spinach. Wheat grass is rich in calcium. Father, don't speak Hello, with your hands. I am not a rabbit, honestly, so... <laughs> so really? What do you want to do? Bam, 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 bam. I'm only doing it because I like milkshakes Ooh. and smoothies. What is that? You... <gasps> Ew, yeah. that looks nasty. No, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. Sweet grass. Oh, yeah. Let me use this one. Does it Jay. smell gross? Mm-hmm. Oh! You can just smell it. It's so healthy. It smells like medicine. It's healthy. Yeah, it's a, too but it's healthy. It smells... Oh, no, no, no. Whoa! That's oh, don't add too much. Right? Don't yeah. add too much. Just, how much? Do you think this much? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's enough. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Away now. <laughs> now for okay. the almond milk. Wait, Wait it it the bananas. Add, add more. Bananas. Add more raspberries. Yeah. Okay. So, do you want to put in one banana or two bananas? Two. 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 Two, two bananas. Okay. Let me get a knife. One banana, two bananas. Let's get a knife first. Wait. Oh yeah. Hmm. I'm going to put your finger in. Yeah. Coco. Okay. I'm just peeling it for you, Gogo. No. Okay. Give it to Sanele. Give it to Sansa. Give it to Sansa. Can do this one time. No, it's just cuts, it's cuts, it's cuts. Panisa, Sansa, Panisa, Panisa. I don't have the whole day. Yeah, I want you to, I want you to taste this smooth. It's, it, it leaves. You know, you're not a rabbit. As long as I can just taste the sweetness of a banana and the raspberry, yeah, I'm good. Not the spinach. What's going on with the spinach, man? <laughs> you shall see. You shall see. Coco is always healthy. Okay. Hold you said, on you, me, you, you, said you said it's two bananas. Milk? Yes, Coco. That's two bananas. Let's, let's put in that milk? almond milk. And what about the almond milk? Just a little bit. So should we take the almond milk? Can we add one more? Are you sure? We already, oh, one more oh, already well. added two. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, let's. That's 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 fine. Just a yeah, one spoon, one spoon. Oh. Okay. 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 You must make sure, Zander, that the lid is tight or no air gets into that stuff. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I think that's true. Go, go. I say, stay fast. That's all next. Get net, get net. Okay, you ready? Go, go. Five, four, three, two, one. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Let's get a glass for each of us. Oh. Okay, yeah, maybe you can just leave it yeah. so I can just pour it out. Tell her, tell her, tell her, pour. Let's taste. Nina, ooh, go, go, wheatgrass. Ooh, go, go. Two girls first? Ooh, go, go. 
I think I'll just open it because like it's spilling through. Oh. Be careful, be careful. Don't put it on your uniform. Be careful. Oh, I can smell. The what? The banana. I can smell the wheat grass. Powder. Really? No, I can the, the, the banana is powerful. I'll add more once it's enough, everybody. Let me, let, let me. Okay, that's enough, that's enough. Okay, can that's I enough. add more? Please. Okay, let's toast to Epic Hangout and good life. You. <laughs> to Epic Hangout Ooh. and good life, good life, good life, good life. I'm scared to taste this. Okay. Mmm, mmm. Greeny. Ah, it tastes so good. healthy. Not that bad. Hmm. It's nice. It's but, healthy. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, the spinach is getting in. Oh. Guys, wow. <laughs> if you want to make your own stuff, remember you can send us an email. Ne? But if you want to check this one out, go to our Facebook page. Remember our email address is epichangout at sabc.co.za. You can also talk to us on our WhatsApp group and our YouTube channel is also there. Just go and look at it. This is the best, the best for life from me and my healthy people here. It's goodbye. Cheers. Bye. Mm. <laughs> I'm enjoying this. I am too. That's why I keep fit. How <coughs> <coughs> stunning you like sweet things, Daddy. <laughs> it's good. <laughs>